I warned you. Illustrations by me. You know, sometimes artists are hypocrites. And one of the things that I see all the time, and I'm not trying, I'm going to lose subscribers with this one. It's, it's okay, don't worry about it. Here's the thing. Artists always tell people, don't tell me what to do with my art, and I won't tell you what to do with your art. And then they tell you what to do with your art. It's not good. It makes you a hypocrite. And there's one thing that I know, because I've said it. I'm not just saying this to you. I've said this. So we're going to talk about this. I'm going to show you something. It's the ugliest piece in my sketchbook. And that has spurred this entire idea of what I want to talk to you about. I did something ugly and I want to show you. And the reason that I want to show you is for this reason of everybody being a hypocrite, including myself. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing I want to say is please stay tuned until the end because someone sent in some art and I want to take a look at it because it's much better than whatever it is I'm doing here. Now this is probably going to be the ugliest thing that's in this sketchbook and I decided to leave it in here because I wanted to point something out. I have heard many of you and I've said this too so I'm just I'm talking to myself too but I have heard many of you say I hate when I see someone's sketchbook and it's perfect. That's not what a sketchbook is for. It's designed to do sketching in it. It's designed to look rough and do thumbnails and mess things up and experiment and do all those things. And that's what it's actually meant for. And I hate when I see those artists who put up their sketchbook and all of a sudden everything looks perfect. It all looks nice and wonderful. And I hate to see that. Well, let me tell you something. That's kind of hypocritical. And let me tell you why. Nobody wants to be told what to do with their art ever. No one does, and I don't think you should be. I think art, there's a lot of freedom in art to do whatever you wanna do, however you wanna do it, and see what process works best for you. But that means if you want that, then you can't go and tell someone else how their sketchbook is supposed to look. If they wanna put everything perfect in it, then they put everything perfect in it. Maybe they use uh, loose pieces of paper to do all their sketching and then they throw those away. That's up to them. It doesn't, you cannot tell someone else what to do with their sketchbook. That is hypocritical if you don't want to be told what to do with your sketchbook or any of your art. So, I think it would be beneficial for us to keep that in mind and make sure that we don't do what we're telling other people not to do to us. The next time that you see someone's sketchbook and it looks perfect and every page is like a finished work of art, you say to them, that's nice if it looks nice. And of course, if it doesn't look nice, you don't like it. You don't have to say you like it. But don't say that it's not good just because it's in a sketchbook and you don't think it should be in a sketchbook if it's gonna look that nice. I think that that's very, that's a terrible way to look at it, in my opinion. Really, some people have a sketchbook for sketching and another sketchbook that they put as perfect a piece that they can inside of it. And maybe they don't even show you the sketches. So what? You, that doesn't matter. You don't have to see all the ugly stuff. I know it, it turns into this whole, well, that's because YouTube and Instagram and all these uh, Facebook and all that stuff, they're, they're toxic places for artists because they only show you the perfect stuff and then you feel bad when you do something and it's not perfect. Just understand, it, it, you can solve that whole problem in just, just one thing. Just understand that these people have bad pieces, they have sketches, they have experimentation books, they're trying new things, and they're only showing you what's perfect in their eyes. Anyway, I'm not saying everything is perfect, but they're only showing you what the best is to show you. They're not trying, it's just like anything else. If you go somewhat through someone's family photo album, they don't take pictures of when they were arguing and throwing dishes at each other and this one slammed the other one's hand in the door and they don't show you those pictures. They show you the pictures where everybody's just standing there smiling and, and looking at, because those are the memories you wanna hold on to. It's the same thing with artists. They're not trying to show you the stuff that they're not proud of. They're trying to show you the stuff that they're proud of. They're trying to say, look, this piece is good. I think it's good and I'd like to share it with you and think, see if you think that it's good. 
And that's all they're really doing. There's no need to jump on someone. Whoa, well, that's not what your sketchbook should look like. It should have all this mess in it. No, that's what my sketchbook looks like. That's what everybody's sketchbook should look like. It's not for finished pieces. You can't tell someone else what to put in their sketchbook. It's not your business. It doesn't matter how well-intentioned you are or maybe how guilty you feel that you think that your art isn't as good as theirs. For whatever reason, I'm not saying it isn't. But if that's how you feel, you can't just jump on someone for that one idea. It's just, it's not right. It's not right to do that to someone else. Now, I, ex I this rule doesn't really apply to me because everything I do is an experiment. Very rarely do I do something where I know exactly how it's going to come out because I've done it a hundred times before. Usually, I am experimenting with my process or I'm experimenting with a new type of art or with a new medium. That's just me. So that all, everything goes in my sketchbook. This one, in my opinion, the end result, it looked like trash. I don't think it came out the way that I wanted it to. I had an idea in my head. I could not get that to come out onto the paper. It just didn't work out. In the beginning, I like a lot of the streakiness that was in there and kind of moving around and I tried to accentuate that a little bit and then I started adding colors. I added colors that I didn't want to go together but I put them together anyway and the whole thing just came out wrong for how, what I was trying to do. But that's okay. I showed you anyway but it wasn't to say, oh look everybody messes up in their sketchbook and you shouldn't feel bad about it. That's not what this video was about. I know that maybe that's what some people thought it was going to be about because this is an ugly piece but that's not what it's about. It's okay if it's an ugly piece in your sketchbook, but that doesn't mean it has to be. Some people, if they did this, they'd paint over it, and there's nothing wrong with that. Some people would tear the page right out of the book. Nothing wrong with it. You do what you want with your sketchbook and let other people do what they want with their sketchbook. And if sometimes people have a sketchbook that's just, that's all their crap. All their sketches and thumbnails is in one sketchbook. Then they have another one where they use a certain subject. They have another one where they do a certain, they use a certain medium. It's just, they can do whatever they want. And so can you. So don't be a hypocrite and try and get people to use their sketchbook the way you think that they should use their sketchbook. It's not right. Don't make people feel bad for doing whatever. There's no rules with art. It's one of the few areas in your life where there's no rules. You do what you want the way you want to do it. And I will stand by that 100% no matter what. So, I mean, what kind of world do we live in where people think they can tell other people what they can do in their sketchbook? This is not some weird, well, I don't know where you are in the world, but this isn't some weird dictatorship where people are telling you exactly what you should do and what you can't do in your sketchbook. This is a freedom of sketchbook place. I, I'm, I'm starting to run out of things to say about this. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to make a point and I just keep making it over and over and just extending the video a little bit longer is really what's happening. I'm fully transparent with that. I have no problem admitting that. And I still would like to hear your opinion on this. I want you to let me know down below. You let me know, you say, listen, I uh, know I think that someone should this is what they should do in their sketchbook and I'm sticking to it and that's fine that's probably what you're going to do anyway but I want to hear from you if you agree with me at all and maybe say yeah, okay I get it a little bit maybe maybe we should just let people do what they want in their sketchbook maybe it's okay maybe we don't have to cause a riot over it we don't have to burn any buildings down or steal any Nikes over it it's just it's okay was that too soon? All right. So pretend I didn't say that. Thumb up the video anyway, and even though I, I said that and everybody got upset over it. And then let me know down below what you think, and we'll just move on from this subject. And don't worry. You get to see all the garbage that I put out. All of it. I, I'm happy that you want to see it, but, you know, it, it's just... Most people don't. That's that's the actual problem. That's why most people hide it away. They don't show anybody else because nobody wants to really see the garbage. And so I show it to you anyway because you're asking for it. So that's what I'm doing. So these two were submitted by Jade. Thank you so much for sending these in. This is Jade the Gamer if you're looking down on the channel. 
and these will also be up on the website as well so if you head over there you'll see those she'll have her own little portfolio you just click on her name and then you'll see the one picture you click on the little portfolio up in the top right it says portfolio you click on that and it shows you both of them so thank you so much jade for sending these in they are beautiful they're absolutely beautiful doodles and uh, I love them, I think. I know the one on the left has a little bit more detail, but I think the one on the right is just a little bit more my style because it has a little bit more of uh, the larger areas of contrast that are kind of mixed into the open space. So uh, that's just something that I'm drawn to, but I love them both. I think they're both beautiful pieces. Thank you so much for participating and sending in some artwork. If any of you want to do that, please do let me know. There's an email down below. You can send me... Well, whatever art you want, and I can put it here and share it with everyone and put it up on the website so everyone can see it. And I appreciate all of you who participate in this. If you would like to join our community, go to illustrationsbypete.com. You can come in, you can put your own artwork on the site and promote it. You can find some inspiration in the free reference photos. You can just use them however you want in your artwork. You do not need to credit me. Or you can come into the forums and talk to some people and maybe give some advice and maybe find a little bit of information that helps you. So come check us out. All right, that's about it for me. I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next one.